Um, today we're doing the hooping, steaming, and quilting phase of the tutus. Uh, there's a casing in one of the layers. You can see here it's put on, zigzagged on. It actually makes a casing that the hooping then just slides through. It's a metal flexible band and basically we can form it into any shapes so that helps support and give us the classical shape of the tutu. What we do is we feed that through and then it looks like there's a bunch of spokes and what you want to do is you want to take and make sure that the spokes are going right straight out from the body. So you do that all the way around. Just kind of gather the tulip in the center as you go. And then once you get that done, where they're all kind of going right straight out and kind of an even spacing then you take your iron and you want to steam it and what that does is that helps get the wrinkles out and gets everything laying flat can you lay the next layer down and again you just want to keep your lines going with the body and then again you just steam these out this tutu has not been steamed or anything. So you can see the difference. This one has, has its hoop in it, but it hasn't been steamed and pressed out. And then this one here has got more of the classical look now that it's been steamed and is totally steamed and ready to be quilted. The reason we quilt these is when the ballerinas are dancing, if they're moving, see how fly away all the layers are and it just kind of separates. So Irene is going to start quilting this, which you're going to attach down so that then the f layers as they dance aren't going to be as flyaway. This is a nice pale blue embroidery floss. I cut off a goodly length of the embroidery floss and then I'm going to separate it into three strands. I don't, it's a little too thick as it is. Oops. And I'm going to use a very long Sorry, needle with a large eye yeah, for this step. I'm only going to thread a tail through because I want to use just the three strands for this first step. I put a knot in my embroidery floss. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is I need to take a, a tack all the way through the skirt about three, about three inches away from where the bodice attaches. And that's going to continue about every five inches around the entire bodice. So I'm going to start on either side of center front, and I'm going to go ahead and make my markings so that I can have it tacked fairly evenly. So in this step, I'm going to go from the underside of the tutu and I'm going to come directly up through the layers where my pin is marking. And the knot is usually big enough to hold. And I'm going to go back down through my layers, remove my pin, and the key here is that we do not want the tutu to dimple. What we want to do is be certain to leave plenty of room so that the layers are tacked together just held together with depth so that we don't have any dimpling. Once it's tacked through on the underside 
we're going to knot our floss being careful again not to pull it too tightly so you sort of tie it off and then let the floss create another loop so that our layers are together but we have not created any noticeable dent in the tutu. So we're going to continue that step in all of these spots. Once that is completed, we will turn the tutu over and we will start quilting it. We're going to quarter the legs first. So the center of the back legs and the center of the front legs going in a line directly out in a, in a radius line directly to the outer portion of the skirt. So again, we're working with the embroidery floss. Before we get to the shortest layers, I'm going to start at the outer portion of this layer and I'm going to sew also through the next layer. So I'm just going to take a little stitch and what I do here is I feed my needle through the end of my floss to catch the knot so that it basically catches on to itself. I'm going to go down over the edge of the pink layer, through the yellow layer, and then all the way down through the blue layer. And I'm going to feed my needle up through the blue layer just at the edge of the yellow layer. It's really nice that we're working on tutus that are multicolored because you can see this detail a little better. Now I'm going to take a little back stitch in through the yellow layer, down through the blue, and I'm going to pick up the pink layer that is further down than the blue. And repeat the process by feeding the needle out at the edge of the blue, up through the pink, and again, not pulling my floss too tightly. We're just wanting to tack these layers together and get the edges sort of glued down to each other. I'm going to take that back stitch again down through the blue and pink, and this time I'm going to go grab the yellow layer, which I, I'm not going all the way around the hoop. I'm only grabbing the layer of tulle and I'm going to come out again at the edge of the pink. You have to, you have to gather all this down to this, this layer. Oh, okay. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure... And I'm going to take my back stitch over the edge of the pink, the and I'm going to go down through the yellow and the next layer of blue, again coming out at the edge of the yellow, taking a little back stitch and this time I'm going to take one more stitch that goes all the way to the outside of the tutu. And I'm going to take that stitch not too tightly. There's a little distance in there. And now I'm going to make a little knot here in my yellow layer. Again, making sure that my other layer, my other threads do not pull too tightly before I make the knot. And snip the floss off closely. So now we have all of the edges attached to one another. And from the outside, that helps to keep everything firm and secure. Thank you.